What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are grinding series 13 again. Hop back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time using Victini. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do yourself a favor. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making me another banger of a team. Cannot wait to use this squad and potentially grab ourselves a winning record with it. But if you guys want to check out his rental codes and his content, make sure you head down the link in the description below. I got a link to all of the socials down there. But let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only Yveltal and this team right here is stacked let me just say that before we actually get into it this team is stacked right here we're starting off with Yvelta. it has dark, dark aurora as its ability rocking the safety goggles as its item and then it's got oblivion wing tailwind for speed control snarl and foul play so this might be like the first time i ever used Yveltal with tailwind but should be fun should work out pretty well Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be the strongest Pokemon ever. It is going to be Zacian. It has Interpret Sword, alongside Rusted Sword, and then everything else is normal with Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Play Rough, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Venusaur over here, Focus Hatch, and Chlorophyll as its item and ability. And then it's Rockin' Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Sleep Powder. So Venusaur, definitely super strong. Cannot wait to use him in the sun with that ground on. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Lunala, and Lunala is actually really solid. I feel like it is just good all around because it's super bulky, and it can be really strong after it uses Meteor Beam with its Mental Herb, or Power Herb, I should say. Because, you know, it gets that plus one special attack boost, and then from there, it's kind of bulky, and it can hit like a truck, so I really do like it. Truck and Shadow Shield as its ability, and then the rest of the moves are Moongeist, Beam, Trick Room, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Groudon. Groudon's here to pair up with the Venusaur and actually make Victini do a bit more damage because, you know, Victini is a fire type Pokemon and it's going to thrive in the drought. A Soul Fest as Groudon's item, and then it's got Precipice Blades, Fire Punch, Heavy Slam, and Rock Slide. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Victini over here. Life Orb as item, and then it's got Victory Star as its item. Well, not item, it's an ability. It's got V Create as its stab signature move. Final Gambit, which is super good because this Pokemon is awesome with Final Gambit. And then it's got Trick Room and Protect for its last two moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Victini team. First battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a team without a mythical Pokemon. Hopefully, we can win this one. Hopefully, get started off on a strong note. He's got Dragapult, Tornadus, Volcarona, Calyrex. I should say Ice Rider, Calyrex. And then he has Yveltal alongside with Swampert. But I got to leave my Yveltal because considering we can set up a Tailwind and it can counter that Calyrex for setting up a Trick Room. So, I kind of like that. So, we're going to go Yveltal alongside with... I could go Victini here. I could definitely go Victini. Victini's not too bad. But I think I'd rather go with a Pokemon like either Lunala or Zacian. What would I rather do here? I could go Zacian. I kind of like Zacian than going Groudon and Victini in the back end. I just feel like that works really well. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one starts, you guys know the deal. Let me know in the comment section down below for a question of the day. Do you guys think any mythical Pokemon in series 13 is too strong? If you do think one's too strong, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' answers. But series 13, the rank season, I just started been playing it over on Twitch. So if you guys want to catch extra content, Head down the link in the description below. If I'm live. Come chat it up. But yeah, I've been playing ranked over on Twitch and streaming it live. And this ranked season, or I should say series, series 13, has been probably the toughest so far because it's just filled with legendaries that can legit sweep any team. So like, you're never safe. You're never safe. Like I've been, like came back on like with a uh, 3v1s. I've been making big comebacks like like that. It's just really tough in the series. So I feel like this series is one of the tougher ones. But he's going to end up leading Tornadus alongside with Dragapult. And from here, I could just set up a Tailwind. I feel like he's going to set up a Tailwind. Um, I think we have to go for Tailwind. So I'm just going to go for Tailwind here. I might just protect this turn. Or I could Behemoth Blade into like the Dragapult or something. Or I could just straight up protect this turn. Which I am going to do. Because he does have Prankster on that Tornadus. So I feel like he can set up Tailwind first. And then his Dragapult can go after my Zacian if he wants to. But we'll see. Oh no, he just withdraws the Dragapult. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So he's going to go in the Volcarona. I'm totally fine with that. I am cool with that turn. I'm just gonna protect Zacian. Set up this Tailwind and we're gonna go. I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. So we're gonna go Tailwind for Tailwind. I'm cool with that. Like my team's definitely faster than him. We are definitely faster. So Tailwind's gonna come out here from both sides, and I feel like Zacian can kinda just start chip it up on some people, right? 
could definitely start chipping up on people. I go into Oblivion Wing here, get off some good damage, and then do I just put it off across the board or do I just Hmm. It's gonna be Hemoth Blade. Try to slide this over here, even though a Rage Powder could definitely come out here, or Dynamax can come out here too. Nope, it's the Rage Powder. So Rage Powder comes out here. We should be able to take out Volcarona, no problem. And he's gonna end up taunting me. You're gonna taunt my Zacian? Okay, that, that might have been the worst taunt ever, considering Zacian only learns really attacking moves, except for Protect. So we cannot protect your Zacian. Maybe that, that could be good, could be bad, but I'll take that all day. He ends up taunting Zacian. And Zacian is, oh, Rocky Helmet damage. Rocky Helmet damage from Polkarona. I'm digging this dude's team. I'm thinking this dude's team, but we're coming in here. We're going to take him out all day and get rid of that Volcarona. So I could Dynamax here, but I'm kind of saving it for Bikini. Kind of saving it for Bikini because, you know, Bikini is a lot of fun. So we know he has a Dragon Pole. I'm not worried about Dragon Pole due to Yveltal. And here comes Dragon So obviously I, I want to foul play into that, right? Yeah, I'm going to go for the foul play here. And then I'm just going to uh, Behemoth Blade on the... You know, I think Dragon Bolt's going to Dynamax. I could actually just play rough or Behemoth Blade into it. But we'll see. We shall see. I probably should have. I probably should have. But he could also protect, so. Kind of sweated this. He's going to go into Phantom Force. Okay, so good call by me to actually not double down into him. That works. I'm to totally cool with that. Behemoth Blade flies through here. Probably triggers Focus Ash, right? We have to guess Tornadus has that Focus Ash. We are just chipping up damage here. We are doing some crazy damage. Big time damage comes out here. This thing triggers his Focus Ash. And I kind of want to get Victini out here. Foul Play's going to come out here and miss. But we're just steamrolling with these Pokemon. Hurricane's going to fly. Zacian should soak pretty well. Hopefully we don't get the Ducks, right? No Ducks? Cool. No Ducks. No Ducks. So I could actually hard swap into Victini here. If I want to. But that would kind of be dumb. All right? It would be dumb. So I'm just going to Foul Play in this slot. And then just Behemoth Blade over on this other slot. I think we're chilling here. Let's see, Phantom Force comes out here first. This is a fast Dragon Pole, and Dragon Pole is going to be able to take out Zassi. Dragon Pole does take out Zassi. So, I could just snarl and get rid of that, uh, that Tornado, so I'm not worried about it. But Foul Play comes out here, rips into Dragon Pole, takes him out. <laughs> no problem in one shot. We love it. And now he's going to bring out his Dynamax Pokemon. And he lands another Hurricane. So he's on the accuracy. He hit it twice. So both Tailwinds peter out. Um... I think I just go into Bikini and Dynamax him. I mean, Bikini's sick. Yeah, I love this. I love me some Bikini. I could hard swap in the ground. He's gonna go Calyrex. And I think that's my play. I think that's my play. Do I Dynamax him or do I just hard swap? What would be the play? Because would a Tailwind Calyrex outspeed me? That's actually cutting close. That is actually cutting close. No, I'm just gonna go Tailwind for Tailwind and I'm just gonna protect. That's going to be my play. I'm just going to protect the team. I'm going to play all day. I'm going to protect Victini. He could pop a trick. He could pop a trick. That was kind of stupid. I should have went into him. Okay, no. He's going to him. So he's not pop a trick. He's not pop a trick. That's totally fine. The tail one for tail one coming out here. I'm definitely cool with that. He's going to go for the Glacial Lance. Take out my uh, Yveltal. And then we can be create into his Calyrex and die. That's definitely your best bet. Or I could just Dynamax up. But I want to use Victini as a signature move. It would be a lot cooler. It would definitely be a lot cooler. It would definitely be a lot cooler. I could double down the Calyrex here as well. But Chilly Knight is going to get boosted. Victini, let's get after it. Let's get after it. I definitely could have won this battle a lot easier if I would have just like Dynamax Victini there and sent the flare. I could, I could have done that in just one game. But I want to showcase Victini's move. So we're going to Dynamax Ground <laughs> instead. And we're going to get rolling from there. So I'm just going to double down into the, uh, into the Calyrex here with a, do I go for a Steel Spike? I mean, Defense Boost would be nice, or I could Flare, or I go for a Rock Ball just to take out the, what's it called? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a Rock Ball just so Buffets start flying through here, and then we take out the, uh, Tornadus, but maybe I shouldn't because that could change up weather. Let's see speeds here. 113. Okay, so he's faster, so yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Victini can go first. He can get the weather boost for V-Create. And we get Mold from that. But before we send the V-Create, look how much damage it does. 180 base damage. But it lowers my defense, special defense, and speed. But I'm all about it. I'm all about it. This move, it's like an absolute truck. 
I've seen people start starting to use it with the white herb. So like they use the move and their stats go back to normal. But I kind of like it with this uh with the life orb or even the choice scarf. I was using a bikini with choice scarf and I actually really like it with final gambit, wild charge, B create, and I forget the last move. I think it was U-turn. It was definitely U-turn. I really did like that because he was just outspeeding everybody. You could just final gambit, you could B create, and kind of roll from there. He's gonna This dude rain dances. This dude rain dances. How much damage is gonna do? This dude rain dance here. That is wild. But I still think we're fine with taking out this uh this Calyrex with the rock fall and this. But B create coming in hot. How much damage is that gonna do? Still did a lot of damage. Look how sick that move looks. That move looks so sick. He definitely should have Dynamaxed his uh, Calyrex. Definitely should Dynamax this Calyrex. Rockfall is going to fire. This should be able to finish him off. I know it's coverage, but still, it's super effective. Get him out of here. Beautiful. That's going to be GG. So we end the match on that. Yo, V-Create would have absolutely dumped on this Calyrex. I would have loved to seen it in the drought. It did half damage in the ring, which is actually impressive. It really is. But we get rid of the Calyrex. We're chilling here fine. Victini gets to showcase in battle number one. And then the Buffets do take out the tournament. So, loving it. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's hop through a second. Let's go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. He's rocking Yvelta, Rayquaza, Zekrom, Zacian, Kyogre, and Whimsicott. So I have Zacian who could be super effective up against three of them. The Yvelta, the, uh, who else is it? The Rayquaza and the Zekrom. We can play it off into all of them, get some stab, super effective shots on that. So Zacian, you were definitely coming in here. He has Whimsicott for Tailwind, which makes you want to go into my Tailwind Pokemon, which would be Yvelta, and then maybe bring in like Venusaur and Groudon in the back end. Which could be pretty good. Which could be pretty good. I could end up leading Groudon because Groudon would be slower. So I could go Groudon and and Yveltal as a lead, or I can go y Zacian and Yveltal, which could be pretty good. Is that what I want to do? Hmm. Zacian and Yveltal could be solid. Zacian and Yveltal. We let him last time. They did a lot of work. I really do like him. I feel like he's gonna go into the Kyogre Wimsicott combo. I can definitely see that happening. But I might even go same school. I feel like same squad kind of, kind of just get some work done. Right? Or I can just pop a trick room and have him tailwind at the same time. Could do that and then roll out with like 15. Ah, what do I want to do here? I kind of want to go in the same squad. I feel like we get a lot of value out of it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's say screw it and do it. I mean, obviously what's called is going to be a problem. Kai Ogre. Because I could have just brought the Venusaur and like pretty much win this battle <laughs> but i feel like we're fine i feel like we're fine we're, we're here to showcase victini so i really want to get him out here in this battle again but i think if i win this battle that puts me in master Q. i'm like one win away from master Q. i'm sitting at i think it's like 10 and 6 10 and 7 which isn't too bad i went on like a four game losing streak on stream the other day which kind of sucks but it'd be like that but he's gonna end up going into okay these two i'm kind of cool with that i mean he could airstream he could kind of get effort that way but i feel like i just I think I just play rough, right? I think I just play rough Tailwind. I don't think I need to protect my Zacian or anything. I think we can just get after this. And then if he wants to do damage by Dynamax and Rayquaza, we can just, uh, we can just Oblivion Wing and get back some HP. I could end up Dynamaxing him, but I'm going to go for the Tailwind. Tailwind and just a play rough straight into the slot. Hopefully I don't miss my play roughs, dude. I've been missing play roughs like crazy, man. I could have been in Master Tail already, but I missed a play rough, which was super upsetting. It was so upsetting. <laughs> Like it was like it was like Zassia versus Palkia, and if I landed a play rough, he cannot set up Trick Room, and I basically win the game. And I missed a play off. I was like, "Yo, are you kidding me? 90 accuracy for what? For what?" So I feel like I miss play offs all the time. And watch, I'm gonna miss his next play off. I have an odd feeling about this, but I think he goes Tailwind here, right? Is that a correct statement? Yeah, Tailwind's gonna come out from him. He probably goes into an Airstream here, or unless he has a coverage max flare, he can do that. And he's gonna go straight into a Wormwind. So Wormwind's not a bad play here. I don't mind it too much because Yveltal can eat after the Tailwind. I think Yveltal outspeeds him and I outspeed him as well. And then I can kind of just get my HP back with an Oblivion, right? Makes a lot of sense. Player comes out here. Yo, what did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just, what did Jeans, Daddy Jeans, what did Daddy Jeans just say? I'm going to miss this player off. And you, you, you guys see, I missed the player off. Okay, so we might just go into Behemoth Blade. It's gonna do more damage anyway. Should have just did it from the start, knew it, knowing he was gonna die max. Hate play rough, dude. I hate play rough. Can't stand it. The thing is, if I use a Zacian with like substitute instead of play rough, I'll like get into a situation where, where I'm like, man, I wish I had play rough. But I miss it all the time. I miss it all the time. 
I really do. I think he goes to another max when we drop my attack. But in, in this situation, we're gonna get back so much HP, we should be able to soak up the shot. Works really well. So if I can waste out his dying next turns, I could bring in Groudon and try to win this. So let's see. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly. I might want to swap Zassian rather soon, just to have him in the back end. He is really good. Behemoth Blade still should do a huge chunk, which it does. It still KOs being minus one. Oh, we get a crit. Thank you, RNG. The RNG had to pay us back. You're like, yo, we, we know you missed that player off in this Behemoth Blade should kill. So we're just going to give you a crit and have you kill him anyway. So that, that actually works out in our favor. Moonblast going to fly. You should be able to eat this up, you know, all. Do not. That hurts soul. Did he get a crit too? That would have been upsetting. But, oh man. He sells Wim's got on the field. We go Tailwind for Tailwind. I feel like we just go Victini here. Maybe Dynamax him. Right? I feel like that's just our play all day. I think that is just our play. Hmm. Let's see who he goes into. I might swap. I might swap my Zassian just so I get my attack boost back. It'll be really good for us. But if he has Kai Ogre, this battle's not looking good. Like I said, I should have brought Venusaur, but I want to show he's Victini. Anybody but Kai over here. Thank you. Okay, so Yveltal's gonna come out here. That's totally fine. I'm just gonna play it off in that slot, and I'm just gonna flare into the other slot. I'm cool with that. So. I'm just going to pop a flare. I could trick him, but there's no point. I'm going to Dynamax him. And let's just play off into the slot, right? Hope you don't miss it, right? He might Dynamax. Oh, no. He can't Dynamax. So, we're just going to go straight into there. He already Dynamaxed his Rayquaza. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So, I'll Dynamax 15 here. He swaps into the Kyogre. Actually, I would love for him to swap into the Kyogre. Because he swaps into the Kyogre. He sets the rain, and we change it right away. Because this, this one's going to be filled with anyway. So, might as well do this. The Victini's gonna get the Dynamax. We love to see it. We're gonna roll out strong with him, even though I probably should Dynamax <laughs> Groudon. But Victini's sick. We love we we love a good old Victini. We love a good old Victini. He's gonna end up going for a stun. Whoa there! A little bit of stun sport action. We love it. We love it. Sucker Punch coming in hot. I'm cool with that. That's totally fine. As long as we land this player off here, we thrive in here. Victini's gonna go for a flare. This should bring this thing down to a sash. No problem, right? Or he can KO it. Brings it down to a sash. And, yo, Zassian, you got this. No paralyzed, no missing attacks. Your time to shine, buddy. Your time to shine. Let's get it done. I have not feeling he's paralyzed. He's not paralyzed. Did we land it? We did it. We landed a play rough. We did it, guys. We did it. We landed a beautiful play rough. Um, still kind of looking a little tough because if he brings out Kai Ogre, Kai Ogre can outspeed us. He has Kyogre, he wins, right? Of course he has Kyogre. <laughs> yeah, um, he wins this, right? I'm trying to think of ways that maybe we could win it. Um, going hard swapping my Zassian at this point, right? Hard swapping Zassian, max knuckle boosting. Could be your best bet, right? Into ground on with the Soul Fest. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. We just have to hope Victini can eat up this shot. I don't know if he can. I don't know if Victini can. But yeah, we just have to swap this. He's probably going to stun spore me, right? I'm going to keep the paralyzed on the board. Stun spore. The first, but the Wimps guy is rolling with it. I dig it. What's he going to go for? Helping? Oh, no. Oh, no. Victini's probably not eating that up. Water spell. Can you eat that up, Victini? You do. That's beautiful. But the thing is, we should have went after Kyogre there. I mean, our Zassian does not outspeed, but it can do some crazy damage, that thing. We get an attack boost. I don't like where we're sitting with this. Um, is there any way we can get speed? Victini's going to... This is just awful. Both Tailwinds are going to peter out. He outspeeds us. Her soul. Her soul. Um, I'm trying to think of what we can do here. This will knuckle again, and I, I I die unless we dodge a water spout here. Dodge a water spout. I'm trying to think of ways Zassian might be able to win this. Is Zassian win this? Water spout comes out here, just a double kill. Oh, <gasps> ground on eight. Ground on. I love you, yo. Assault vest ground on. Beautiful. Now he's plus one attack. We need to land his blades. If we land his blades, we have a we have a strong shot at winning this game. Land his blades, blades. Thank you. This might even KO. Plus one. 
Let's go. Let's go, Drought on free focus, Ash. We'll take that all day. But yo, he's beefy. He has that assault vest, and we set the drought at the perfect time. So guys, that last battle actually put me in master tier, but we got ourselves a bigger problem ahead of us. We are versing Cybertron right now. Just found him on the rank ladder. I'm recording. Hopefully he's recording. Probably gonna smoke me, but we're definitely gonna give it a run for our money. I don't know who he's gonna go into. He could go into the, uh, he could go into a lot. He could go into a lot. He has his Aurora. He has the Whimsicott. He has the Meg Gear and the Pop Trickin', but I feel like Weather is just our friend here, right? Weather seems like our friend. Let me see Venus for speed real quick. So let me see your speed kind, sir. Maybe 145. I don't think that's too bad. We could pop a trick room, but then he thrives with Maggie. So I might just go into weather. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into it with these two. Weather squad getting after it. We're gonna bring Zassian to back end because Zassian is Zassian and we love Zassian. And then from here, who else should we go? Because he could go Zero Aura as the lead. So he could pick out my ground on. He has a lot of different options. But uh hmm. There you go, Victini. We have some fun with this when we go Victini, or do we play it safe and go like the belt? Let's say we have some fun with this one. We go Victini. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Yo, Cybertron, good luck. This is going to be a fun battle. This is going to be a fun battle. Yo, I was sitting there. I was just like, yo, cool. I just made Master and then I hopped to a battle. Cybertron. So I'm guessing this this would be the real Cybertron, right? Is that is that his player card? I don't really watch his videos, but I know he's huge in the community. And I saw him uh, doing like, uh, what is it? He was doing some uh, work with Pokemon Worlds, which was awesome. Yeah, I really hope this is him. I really do. He's gonna go Whimsicott and Palkia. Uh, I could pop Trick Room. Uh, he has a, dude, he's just so smart. I, he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna kill me, dude. He's gonna destroy me in this battle. He's going to destroy me. Um, I got a Dynamax Venusaur, right? I mean, he could change up weather. I feel like we just have to... What do we do? I think we just have to, you know, Dynamax here. I could Quake, but I could also set up the Vine Lash, which I think it's gonna be a smart play. Who could he swap into to kind of like eat up the Vine Lash? No one really too much. I'm, I'm cool with that. And he could pop the Trick Room. He can do a lot here. I'm just going to Vine Lash here. And do I just Fire Punch? Do I Heavy Slam? Do I Bleeds? I think Bleeds going to be the play. Because if I had to guess, Whimscott's probably Sash, right? So like hitting that thing with a Fire Punch won't really do too much. Right? Because it could be a Trick Room Whimscott. It could definitely be a Trick Room Whimscott. Uh, I think I am going to slam this thing with a fire punch. They're going to end up doing that. Let's see, let's see what happens here. So I'm Dynamax and Venusaur. I probably could have put his Palkia to sleep. But Palky, I, I have an odd feeling this is going to be Trick Room Scott. And he's just going to protect Palkia here. But again, I could have just... I probably should have bladed it, right? I probably should have bladed it. Just to get rid of the Palkia. Because if he doesn't Dynamax the Palkia... He's fine, but let's see what he does. Let's see what his play is. Tailwind comes out, so he's gonna end up Tailwinding. What's he going into with this Palkia? Because Palkia's not Dynamaxing, and we still outspeed, which is awesome. If he gets off Tailwind, we're gonna do some nice damage. That is a bulky, bulky little dragon. The bulky little dragon. He's gonna end up going for Space Run. No crit. That might have been a crit. It's looking a little scary. It's not a crit, but still, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. Fire Punch gonna fly here. Bink. Bring this thing down to focus. Damage. Give me a burn. Give me something. Give me the burn. That'd be amazing if we get it. Going. But Vine Lash gonna chip onto the Palkia. We get rid of Palkia this turn. Um, I feel like we just Quake, right? We Quake. Get a special defense boost. Will Quake take that out? Quake might not take that out. I still want to Quake, though. I still want to Quake and just go for a Blades across the board. I would rather get that special defense boost. I could have obviously double protected this turn. But it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's funny because like I'm versing Cybertron now, and I could just see him thinking through his turns because I watched a few of his uh, battles before, and he's just he's just so smart and really good at this game. You know, he put it in the time, he puts in the effort. He just knows everything, so he's just thinking everything through. He ends up protecting the Wimscott. Ah, uh, it's a fine turn. I could have Vine Lash. But I'm gonna quake. Because, again, we should be able to eat up a space run. Unless he gets a crit here. Which is definitely possible. But Quake... Oh my god, Quake doesn't take out. Hurts the soul. Hurts soul. So if he gets a crit with this space run, we're gone. We're gone. So I would love to get off one more turn with him. Space run's going to fly this way. Okay, cool. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. We have that soul fest. It's still pretty good. Hackett's going to lose some HP. And then we get off one more turn with this... Uh, 
Get a full more turn with the Venusaur. But the problem here is that he has Tailwind out and about. So the Venusaur's not going to be able to outspeed this to a Pokemon. Like, uh, did he have Zacian on the team? Well, Groudon, we should be able to outspeed. Groudon, we should be able to outspeed. So at this point, I mean, we go into a Violent Ash. He probably max guards, right? He probably Dynamaxes max guards. It's just a simple, smart play. And then for us, what do we even go into? We go into a Blades just in case. But again, I don't want the accuracy to miss the Blades. But he's obviously going to go into... I could save my Venus. I really could. I feel like he guards you, right? I feel like he guards. So I could... Oh, I don't have Protect. I don't have Protect. But I mean, if he guards, then I could just... Okay, that's fine. We're going to have to drop the Vine Lash into him. I went Vine Lash. I think I'm just going to go... I think I'm just going to go Fire Punch a slot. 100% accuracy. He end up dying. I think he guards, right? I think he guards. It would make the most sense if he guards here. It would make the most sense if he guards here. But if not, he's going to have to take a Vine Lash, which he should be able to soak up rather well. He could be a Soul Vested just like my Groudon. But it is coming close. It is coming close. See, that's one place. He does not guard, so he's going to have to take this Vine Lash. I mean, he should be able to soak pretty well here. Yeah, see. But still, I want to get off as much damage as possible again. And he's going to end up going for a Quake into... I don't know who he's going into here. My Groudon. Can you get that Groudon? Probably not. No. I've been trying to get rid of this Flimscott for like 10 years now. Cannot. He gets a, gets a crit, but I think that, that might have taken him out regardless. Okay, um... What's the play here? What is the play? Trick? Ooh! Ooh, that was smart. That was smart. That's a that's a beautiful play right there. That is a beautiful play because what I was thinking, actually Bikini's not too bad here, but what I was thinking here, I was sitting here, I was just like, uh, we could go into a sleep pattern after Venusaur's turns over, and we will obviously outspeed the ground on. But this man right here was thought of that way ahead of it, way ahead of everything, and was like, yo, I'll pop the trick room. I'm not even worried about it. He said, I'm not even worried about it, and he popped the trick room. Okay, that that turn was that turn was really good. That turn was that turn was really good. Um, can I do anything here? I mean, I feel like he just pops a flare and takes out my Venusaur. Uh, hmm. I mean, I gotta go for the sleep pad, right? Okay, like I gotta go for it, right? Swim Scott could be Rock and Taunt too. I feel like it's not Rock and Taunt because he would have just taunted me instead of popping a. Uh, Popping a trick room. We just go into that. Any final gambit Dynamax Pokemon? I'm gonna go here and uh I guess I'll go for a B create. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> he withdraws whimsy. Hey, which all's whims guy is gonna send oh dude i knew i should have dude i was thinking of going into a trick room too trick room would have been play v create comes out here big time damage almost picks up the ko that's tough news and i think i feel like magirna just kind of like picks up this w what's he going into who are you taking out here going into max quake that's got to be into i think he goes into uh, venusaur here and finishes him off yeah he finishes off venusaur uh vinyl ash is chipping out here I'm trying to think of how, how I could possibly win this battle. Because Soul Heart Magirna is here to play. Soul Heart Magirna is not playing around. This is such a good battle. Such a good battle. Vine Lash can chip up. One more Vine Lash should take out Groudon. And I don't even know if we have it for one more turn. Do we have it for one more turn? I don't think we do. I don't think we do, but we're going to Zacian here. Uh... Hmm. Is that his last Dynamax turn? I think it was too. It should be his last Dynamax turn. No, it's not. He has one more. God dang, man. <laughs> I hate this game. Uh, I feel like we have to protect and go into a Trick Room. I feel like that's like our only option. I could obviously double down on Protect. How many turns left in Vine Lash? Vine Lash. Vine Lash gone. Oh no, Vine Lash is gone. Vine Lash is gone. We need that last turn of Vine Lash. That would have been big for us, but I feel like I have to get off this trick room, right? 
I mean, Soul Heart Mac Gearn is going to rip into me. I feel like this is over with. So I got to protect Zassian. I have to try to pop off the Trick Room because if I can get off the Trick Room, I don't think we're sitting. I mean, I feel like we have a shot here. Flash Hands can come out here, and if Quake's flying here as well, we lose this battle. There's Quake going to Zassian, please. Please double down Zassian. He does, and that's GG's. That is GG. So we try popping that Trick Room to, to bring us back in the game, but it's, it's not because Soul Heart Mac Gearn is just. It's just thriving here. It's just thriving here. Like, Yo, not a bad battle. We don't get swept. We bring down Women's Cot to one. And this battle really came down to the wire. It kind of did. It came it came rather close. But one that Trick Room play really won in the game. That's why Cybertron's top tier, man. That's why he is top tier. That play right there won in the game. And I would have never thought to even do that. Who does that? Like, who thinks that? that? That's amazing, man. That's amazing. High praise for him. But yeah, this one's going to be over. Uh, should I just mess around and try to... Should I try to protect three times in a row? Let's do. Let's go for the. Let's go for the triple protect. <laughs> Yo, there's two. There's two. Yo, we're going for triple. We're going for a triple protect. We are going for it. <laughs> we're going for the triple protect. I'm doing it. I'm playing around. All right, yo, let's do it again. To end the trick room and a triple protect. I never land triple protect before. Can I get it? Can I do it? Big time RNG here. <laughs> Yo, this would be incredible if I do it. No, dude. <laughs> we go for it, but it fails. Flash guy's gonna fly through here. It was over regardless. That was like our only option, because again, he outspeeds us. And he's gonna fire punch here for the higher accuracy. But yo, man of applause to Cybertron. What a great battle. I thought we did have a chance to beat him until he made that play with the trick room. But awesome battle, and I'm glad I got that on recording. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, two and one for today's video. We grab ourselves a winning record. We make it the master tier. And more importantly, we versed Cybertron in battle number three. One of the best players in the world. Super awesome now that I got to go up against him. And I felt like I held my ground pretty well. Definitely pretty well. I felt like we had a chance at winning because I was sitting there. I was just like, okay, Venusaur is going to end Dynamax. We could put him to sleep, but then he makes that crazy trick room play, which ends up winning the game. So huge round of applause. And that's why he's one of the best. He makes plays like that. And that's how he wins his battles, which is absolutely amazing. But... Guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.